Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Marianne Styles Me. Today I'm doing a Q&A so it's going to be fun. I'm going to be answering I think um, about 12 to 10 questions and hopefully they're useful to you and they will help you get to know me a little bit better. Let's get started. So first thing first, so let me go on my phone and kind of go through these one by one. So the first question was, what is your real name? Marianne Ilunga is my real name. Where are you from? I was born and raised in Central Africa in a country called the Democratic Republic of Congo. I came um, to Los Angeles, California as a teen and just kind of grew up there and um, went to college and did all that good stuff and then moved to um, Orlando about 11 years ago now. When did you start showing an interest in fashion? I think I've always shown an interest in fashion. Even as a little girl, I remember looking through fashion magazines. Um, my godmother um, was a seamstress and uh, my paternal aunt was a model. So I've kind of always been um, in the uh, fashion industry and kind of always been exposed to clothes and fashion and things like that. Um, I knew really very early on actually that I was going to work in fashion. Some way, somehow I used to think that I was going to be a designer, fashion designer. And then I figured out how much work that had to be, how much technique you needed to have and math and all that stuff. And I was like, that's not for me. I went to Cal State Pomona out in California in Orange County and took um, a few courses because they were required for sewing and things like that, but never ended up using any of it anyways. Um, I ended up graduating with the fashion retailing and marketing um, degree, which tremendously helped me um, kind of understand how the business side of fashion really works. And during my college years, I had the opportunity to actually work in a boutique. And that's something that I would really recommend to anybody who wants to start working in fashion. So I didn't end up doing fashion design really because I was lazy and I just felt like it was a lot of work. Next question was, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Braveheart. Freedom! I love that movie and I love Mel Gibson. And I just love what the movie stood for and the, the acting in it was just spectacular. The music, everything about it. I just fell in love with that movie from the first time that I've seen it. I probably have watched it maybe 50 times. I absolutely love that movie. Next question was, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". And I think I'm about 5'11 with inches. I mean, with inches. 5'11 with heels or six feet. What is your favorite thing about being a stylist? My favorite thing about being a stylist is being able to make a difference in um, the lives of average women just like me and to make women understand that fashion is not only for model and it's not this thing that's not attainable and as redundant as it may seem and I say it over and over, it is possible for everyone to look stylish. So my favorite thing to do is to make them understand that part and to really help them see the light and to really help um, most of these women find their personal style. Where do you get your inspiration? Well, I get most of my inspiration from traveling. Um, I love the fact that I could be somewhere else and and see different trends and see different street styles and uh, being able to be in different stores and different boutiques and kind of get a feel of what works in a different market and that really helps me kind of combine ideas for myself, for my clients, for photo shoots and things like that. Another question that came from a young woman who just graduated from college was, do you need a degree to work in fashion? The answer is no. But with all that being said, I really feel that if you want to be a master at anything, you really need to get an education in the field that you're interested in. Um, I know a lot of people strongly believe in just, you know, having a lot of experience, which is great, but it's, it's always nice to kind of have that paper, even if it's in psychology or it's in accounting, in whatever it is. That way, you always have your plan B, that way you have a level of, of, you feel like you have a level of accomplishment. So I'm always pushing young girls to kind of finish school and be empowered 
by having their degree whatever it is that they have you know for whatever it is that they have a passion for so i hope you really enjoyed this video today and i will see you on the next episode of marion styles me thank you